Well, Teslas are really special and are in a different league altogether when it comes to vehicles. And it's very fair to say they are cars, they are electric cars, and they are Teslas. Not every Tesla owner realizes that and the one biggest mistake or missed opportunity of being a Tesla owner can be that they treat their Tesla as just another car. I'm making this video to help Tesla owners current or potential to understand and utilize the potential of one of the best features and advantages of owning a Tesla. I'm talking about the amazing Tesla app. It's amazing how easily we get used to the fact that we don't need to carry any key nowadays if you own a Tesla. Since the Tesla app allows us to use or control our car in a way that is so unconventional that it can lead people not making the best out of the Tesla experience. And to me, it is like buying a very expensive and powerful gaming computer and using it to watch Netflix or just sending emails. By that, I just mean to say that the Tesla app is as much of an experience enhancement of owning a Tesla as the car itself. Tesla keeps on making changes to the app along with the car interface, but there are certain features of the app that I discovered after using the app for a while, but certainly would have loved to know as soon as I got the car or even before. Without any further ado, let's talk about the configuration you can do to your app to improve your overall experience of owning the amazing car. So let's open the Tesla app and have a look. Given that your app is logged in with your Tesla account and you have access to the car as a key with your phone, you have four shortcut controls just below your car picture. Now by default, these shortcuts are set to unlock your car, climate control, opening the charge port, and opening the frunk. And in my overall experience of owning the car over 10 months, I wasn't aware that these icons are customizable. So long pressing any of those four icons gives us access to 12 different functionality of the car that you can choose top four that you use most frequently and have them set at the shortcut bar. And that makes the overall experience of having those shortcut icons even more fruitful for me. As in most smartphones, Tesla does have a widget where these four shortcut buttons are shown on your home screen of the phone. And if you want to control any of these four aspects, you don't even need to go into the app and choose those icons. You can just do it from the widget and it makes the overall experience a bit more quicker. For example, you want to cool your car before you enter into the car. It's way too easy now just to use it via the widget. Another cool or important feature about the app is ability to check the car tire pressure just from the app. So to do that, just go to the control section and click on the PSI section. That allows you to see what was the car tire pressure from your last trip, which does indicate that if you need to do the top up of the car tire pressure or not. Now let's quickly go back and go through the rest of the options in the app. So starting from the top left, we have the battery range or the kilometer range left in the current capacity of the car. On the top right, there's a section for user ID. On click of it, you are presented with your car, the option to shop more accessories for Tesla from the Tesla shop. And you can even order a new car from this app. Now below that there's an inbox where all the communication that you've received from Tesla are recorded. And then you have your account settings where you have your personal contact information, your wallet information where your ID is stored, your order history, your charging history, and security and privacy settings where you can choose your app's password and much more. The next option in the list is settings. If you go into the settings, you are presented with calendar sync, which allows your car to sync your personal calendar to the car's calendar and that helps you to navigate to those locations if you have any meetings and so forth. The below option is for notification. You can choose what notification goes through to the car with what sections. For example, do you want a car alarm to come to your car? Do you want to get notified if your car started charging or the charging is interrupted? And other options which are in the list as below. 
Now, if you own two or three Tesla products, you can use them by add or remove product section. So when you click on it, it gives you an option to add vehicle or powerwall. Or if you have already existing vehicles or other devices, you can use that from the remove icon. And the last option is sign out, which obviously means signing out of your Tesla app. The next section is control section. When you click on the control section, you are presented with an amazing view of your car where you can lock and unlock your car. You can flash the lights. You can unlock the car charge port. You can honk the horn. You can start your car and you can vent the windows. And as discussed before, you can check the tire pressure from this section. Moving on to the climate section. When you click on it, it shows you the current interior temperature, current exterior temperature, and what your set aircon temperature is. And the good part is, you can use the app to control the heating of the seats, as well as switching on the aircon just from the axis of your app. And you can even choose to defrost your car, put the car in camp mode, or switch on the dog mode. There's another option if you drag down in your list, which is cabin overheat protection, which allows your car to use the aircon system to prevent the interior of the car from overheating. Now the next section is sort of self-explanatory, which is the location section, which means as long as you have access to internet, you'll be able to see where your car is parked at any time of the day. And with the new update, the app also tells you how much time the car is going to take to reach to the destination. So just in case you've borrowed a Tesla from a Tesla owner, they can easily see how much time you're going to take to reach to them or what destination you are going to with just a quick access to their app. Now the location tab also shows you the nearest superchargers that Tesla does have in your area. To do that, just go below to the section where it says nearby chargers and just drag it to appear on the screen. The schedule option allows you to precondition your car to preheat the battery as well as give you ability to charge your car at a particular time of the day. So if you have an off peak rate to charge your car, you can easily set it via the app and your car only starts charging at that time of the day, even if you have left the car plugged in. The next section is security. It gives three options which is enabling sentry mode, switching on the valet mode and putting on the speed limit mode. Now sentry mode allows you to ac activate the surveillance around the car. The valet mode allows you to lock the frunk as well as the glove box in the car. And the speed limit mode allows you to put a speed limit to the car so that the car won't travel any faster than that. Now the upgrade section take you to buy more accessories or if you have any packages to the car that could be bought, it's going to be present in this update section. Moving on to the service section, you would be able to see the history of the service requests as well as some video guides or user manual. And you can even request a service by clicking the request service button. And you're presented with these multiple options to choose from to allow the Tesla service team to cater for your needs better. And it's just amazing that you don't necessarily need to talk to anyone to arrange a service for your car anymore. Moving on to the next section, which is the roadside assistance. So for any of the reasons that you need a roadside assistance, you have the option for calling a roadside assistance service from your car app itself. Now, as soon as you select the roadside assistant, you are prompted to ask for current car condition, which is, do you have a flat tire? Do you have an issue with the drivability of the car? Do you have any charging issue? Or you can select other and then you have further options to allow you to choose why do you need the roadside assistance? and appropriate service is contacted by the app to be able to send to your location to help you out as soon as they can. And more than that, if you go further down, it'll show you what sort of car model you have, 
how many kilometers you have done, your win number and the current software version. And there's also an option to remove my access from the app button where if you click on that, your access to the car would be removed. I would highly recommend not to touch that option if you know what I mean. Well, that's a quick overview of all the options that the Tesla app gives you. And it's still hard to digest that I can lock and unlock my car from anywhere in the world or I can preheat or pre-cool my car before I even go to the car and much more. As you might have already guessed, I highly recommend using the app as much as you can to make the experience of owning a Tesla even more better. Well, thanks for watching the video and if you want me to expand on any of the features shown in today's video, please let me know via the comment section. Well, thanks again and I hope to see you in the next one.